Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Rodney Reed, who has been on death row for 20 years and is scheduled to be executed in 12 days on November 20th. So Rodney has been on death row since 1998 for the murder of Stacy Stiles, which happened in 1996. There's actually evidence that exonerates him of the crime and even implicates Stacy's fiance, Jimmy Fennell. So Rodney has been repeatedly denied DNA testing that may be able to prove his innocence. Also, there are three forensic experts that have recanted their original testimony and saying that the original time of death is wrong. So well, that makes the timeline of the murder questionable. And there are also new witnesses, and one of them is actually Stacy's cousin, who have come forward and are now saying they knew Stacy and Rodney were romantically involved. So the state's case against Rodney has been completely discredited. Um, Rodney is working with the Innocence Project, which is a program that exonerates the wrongly convicted through DNA testing, tries to reform the criminal justice system to prevent future injustice. So the Innocence Project has actually come out with some of the facts around this case, and um, when I say facts, I mean actual facts. So um, when I was reading these, I was actually, like, frankly appalled by the injustice that's going on and the fact that there is an innocent person's life at risk. So I just wanted to share some of these facts with you and also talk about some other things I found and tell you how I feel about it all. So to start off, the murder weapon was never tested for DNA evidence. So in most true crime cases, this is really one of the first things that they do. Um, there's been multiple requests for this belt, which is the murder weapon, to be tested, but all have been denied. So the next fact is that Rodney and Stacy were having a consensual sexual relationship, which was never corroborated in the trial, but is now being confirmed by new witnesses. Jimmy Fennell, which was Stacy's fiance at the time of her murder, was the original prime suspect, and police even said that he, he may be possibly motivated by her relationship with another man. Um, Jimmy Fennell's, Fennell's best friend at the time of the murder was Bastrop Sheriff's Officer Curtis Davis. Um, right there, that's a conflict of interest in my opinion. And But Curtis Davis has now actually said that his that Jimmy's account of the murder was inconsistent. At first he said he was out drinking, and then he later changed his story to say that he was with Stacy in their apartment. Um, so now there's two new witnesses that have come forward um, that can further incriminate Jimmy Fennell. The first is an insurance salesperson who said that Jimmy Fennell threatened to kill Stacy while he was applying for life insurance. And the second was a deputy in the Lee County Sheriff's Office at the time of the murder who says that Jimmy Fennell made an alarming and incriminating statement at Stacy's funeral regarding her body. Jimmy Fennell actually later served a 10-year prison term for sex crime and kidnapping, which creates a pattern of violence against women. Um, and one of the biggest injustices that I found was the possibility that this conviction was racially charged. So Rodney, who is a black man, was found guilty of murdering Stacy, a white woman, by an all-white jury. And the scariest part of this is actually the confession that Jimmy Fennell um, is, has said and it's now come to light from Arthur Snow, who was a prison mate of his. Um, on October 29, 2019, Arthur Snow disclosed a conversation in which Jimmy Fennell convinced to mur confessed to murdering Stacy, stating, I had to kill my N-word loving fiance. Wow, that's really, that's some really disgusting stuff. I don't even really know what to say. I mean, this case is so freaking upsetting and it makes me like genuinely angry. Um, I would really like to go into a deeper dive on this case if you guys would like to see that. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if that does sound like something that you would want to see. I think this case really needs as much publicity as possible, especially right now because it's 12 days away from his execution. Please feel free to share this video and we can try and get Rodney off death row and give him a retrial. Um, in the description box, I will leave a petition that you can feel free to sign. It's really easy. Um, it takes two seconds and there's also a number that you can call if you are able to to help him get off death row. So that's it and thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe for weekly true crime news and updates.